So uh, I got my connect. Uh, here's the box. And I decided after all the cool stuff that others have been doing with it and the fact that now it's uh, more or less hacked, that people have figured out how to move the solos and that they have figured out how to actually get the color images and the depth images out of it, uh, I decided I would um, try to use the depth image and the color image and put them together and then project the image back out into space in order to recreate the original freedom image of objects that were captured by the camera uh, in the original position, orientation and size. So what you're looking at here right now is not just a video, but it's actually the uh, 3D reconstruction. Uh, and right now I'm showing it from the point of view of the camera, but if I zoom out here a little bit and move it around, I can move the image around in three dimensions. Um, and you can see that the, uh, of the objects in there, that's myself and uh, there's my teacup right here, uh, that they are actually reconstructed in three-dimensional space. So we have a really true almost holographic camera image. Of course, you see that since the camera only looks from one point of view, uh, there's a big shadow behind me right here. And if you look at me from the other side, there's no back to my head because, well, the camera can't see that. But apart from that, uh, that's uh, what my room looks like here. So the idea is that by, based on the fact that we have a depth camera, um, we can really do this 3D stuff and we can do it for all kinds of purposes. All right, and there's more to come, so I'm going to try next to see if I can use the 3D image and put them into another uh, 3D environment in order to mix realistic people captured with the, the Kinect with the computer-generated imagery, but I'm not quite done with it yet. So.